This is a great putting drill that you can do at home with um, very little equipment, even if you don't have anything um, like a putting mat or anything. Um, this is a great way to work on your putting stroke. Um, that five to 10 foot putt range is really some of, those are some of the most important putts. And so if you can really own it super confident there, you feel a lot more confident on the course. It's also a great place to really fine tune your putting strokes. If you're working on something from a technique perspective, it's a lot easier to work on in these short distances. Um, and repetition is key. The more putts you see going in, the more you're gonna build that confidence. Um, so all you need here is a cup, not a glass cup. We don't want things gonna break, um, but something plastic um, that's not gonna break is gonna be your best bet. So I just have a solo cup here. Um, it's a little one, so it's gonna be a little more challenging. If you want to have a little easier time here, you get a little bigger cup. Um, but I'm just gonna lay it on the side and this is gonna work as my golf hole. So I'm gonna put into the cup. Um, so I'm gonna lay it facing me here. And then I have these cones set up at three feet, six feet, and nine feet. And so we're gonna work all the way back. What I want you to do is start by hitting five putts from three feet. So then we're gonna hit five putts from six feet, then five putts from nine feet. Um, just again, that repetition from each spot is going to be really good. What we want to work towards is making more and more from here though. So after we do that, I want you to stay this three foot one until you make five. So it doesn't matter if you miss a couple, just count each one you make. Once you accumulate five makes, then you're allowed to move back to the next one. So this is going to make you focus a little bit more. It's going to add a little competition component to it. Um, that will keep you a little more engaged, a little more focused during practice because I'd rather see intentional practice than just going through the motion, motions hitting putts. Um, so we'll do make five from three, make five from six, and then make five from nine. As that gets easier, the way we're going to make this a little bit tougher is you have to make five in a row. And so if you make three in a row from the three and then you miss the fourth one, we have to start all the way back over at once. You're not allowed to move to to the six foot one until you make all five in a row from the three foot one. Then we'll go back to the six, make five in a row from the six foot. Again, if you miss one, you have to start back over at one. And after that, you have to go back to the nine, make five in a row from there. Um, after that, you can add more golf balls. So you might have to make 10 in a row. Um, you can make it so you have to make all of these in a row where you start back at the three. And so if you make five in a row from the three, you make three in a row from the six, but then you miss the fourth one at the six, you have to come all the way back and start at one here. And so there's a lot of ways we can progress this and make this more challenging. Um, start by hitting a lot of putts from this range, and then start by making five at all, not in a row, and then we'll add up to five in a row and continue that challenge more and more and more. Um, so it'll look like this. Just set up in line with that cup. Um, go through your own routines, take a couple practice strokes if that's what you normally do. Line it up and try to make it. Like I said, it's going to be tricky um, and it's okay if you miss a few, but it's a great way to start working on this. Let's see if I can make one from here. There you go. So that one went in. So that would count as one. Um, again, we'll do five from here, five from the six, five from the nine. Have fun.